we back in action. Look, we not going to put our head between our legs, dig, and run away. We not shutting channels down, man. We coming back, man. We moving, baby. We going to continue to pump this boxing. We going to find somebody to put hands and feet on the way, Bully Spence. <laughs> no knockout, no knockdown, and you crown early way, Bully Spence, the king, the boogeyman at the 147th Division. <laughs> Is that your word? Is that your word, people? Let's talk about some things, man. You rocking with the best CBT, man. We back in action, man. Can you call Mikey Garcia? Anybody know Mikey Garcia? Ask him, what did he see in the way Bully Spence? Because I don't know what he's seen. You dig? Because he got in that ring, he didn't show anything, bruh. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I'm disappointed at him, man. I'd rather him go out on his back. Then go out looking for a moral victory 12 rounds. You dig? No, that's not Mikey Garcia, man. You know, I'm disappointed in Mikey Garcia. You see the theme here? I'm disappointed. We're going to get to the way Blue Spence in a minute. But I'm disappointed in Mikey Garcia's performance, man. He looked it slow. His, he had no jab. He used no angles. He took no risks. You dig what I'm saying? I mean, this guy, Mikey Garcia, looked like a B, C-class opponent in there. And it wasn't because the way Bully Spence nullified him from moving and shaking. He had opportunities. Look at the second round. The second round is indicative of what you can do to the way Bully Spence if you put pressure. If you walk him backwards on his back foot and you use a jab and you go to the body and you go over the top because he's susceptible to the shot over the top. You dig what I'm saying? Mikey Garcia played it safe. Mikey Garcia didn't want to take risks. If we look at the way Bully Spence performance, I'm gonna give it a D. Yeah, I, I'm gonna give it a D because you fought against a guy that was 130. You dig what I'm saying? Moving up in weight, looked as slow, sluggish. He couldn't get, he couldn't get past uh, Spence jab. You understand me? He couldn't deal with the height of Spence. And Spence was a boogeyman. He was the boogeyman to Mikey Garcia. He was heavy. He was bigger. It was evident. He couldn't budge Spence. Therefore, Spence should have controlled the action. He did that. Spence should have used his jab. He did that. But he used it all for the wrong reasons because he played this, he played it uh, safe as well. He should have knocked Mikey Garcia out. Point blank, period. You think what I'm you got a guy that's backing up. You got a guy that's smaller, slow footwork. You bombard him. You knock him out, make a statement so no other little dude from the lower weight classes dare speak or breathe your name. You see what I'm saying? But he went 12 rounds, and let me tell you something right now. Spence tried to knock out Mikey. He tried to knock him out. It wasn't like, yo, listen, you know, throughout the training camp, I heard that I didn't have ring, good ring IQ. I heard that I can't box. I heard that I didn't have a jab. I heard that I couldn't do a lot of different things in the um, boxing ring other than come forward. But let me ask you guys something. What did he do all night? He came forward, he shot the jab, and he went to the body. <laughs> he, he didn't do nothing else. Now, it's not completely his fault, right? Because Mikey Garcia didn't bring out anything in, in the way Bully. He didn't make the way Bully uh, fight on the back foot. He didn't make the way Bully use angles. He didn't make the way Bully bounce on his toes. He didn't make the, the way Bully do different things that make him uncomfortable so we could see some nuances in the way Bully Spence, right? So I'm not mad at him, but he only came forward. See, it's a theme coming here. You're going to get it in a minute. He only came forward. He only shot the jab and he went to the body. <laughs> Simple basics and, and he's telling me for Amir Khan. He's telling me for Crawford. He's telling me for my boy uh, Porter, Keith Thurman. I mean, this guy is going to get his when he get in the ring with somebody his size. Point blank, period. Look, Floyd Mayweather came to start he is because he fought slow-footed Mexicans, slow-footed fighters that couldn't deal with the athleticism and couldn't deal with his speed and couldn't deal with his athleticism. You see, when you get in the ring with a Shane Mosley, when you get in the ring with a Zab, when you get in the ring with a guy, the new, the new guys, the Cons, the, the Crawfords, the Keiths, the Porters, different mobility, different skills. You got to bring out greatness against our black fighters. So y'all want to talk about black and Mexican, right? You see, I'm still disappointed in Mikey Garcia. I'm not making excuses, but we have to call it a spade a spade. He should have knocked Mikey Garcia out, point blank, period. You see? So, here's the point, people. Right? I told you. Yeah, he dominated. Right? He didn't have to show much. Right? Because Mikey didn't make him show anything. Because he didn't have to. Right? So, that, that tells me this. That tells me this. You got a guy that's the weight bully. 
He has all the advantages, height, length, right? He, you know, his, his size, right? Now, you got Mikey Garcia, a complete D-level fighter Saturday night. How could you give props to a guy like the way Billy Spence been fighting a guy that didn't throw a jab back? How could you give props to Spence uh, for fighting a guy that was too small? How could you give props to a guy in, in the way Billy Spence for using his jab uh, all night long? Not being contested. Not having to deal with fire, fireworks coming back at him. You can't praise You can't praise that. Because you're praising something that don't exist. He didn't have a hard, tough fight. The only thing you guys can say, and I'm a victim of this, because I am the guy, one of the guys who said that Mikey was going to use his athleticism, going to use his footwork, was going to use his ring IQ, was going to push the way Bully back and ultimately beat the way Bully space because of all the different attributes we've seen Mikey Garcia have at the lower weights, right? So yeah. So your argument may be, well, yo, you, you guys was running around saying Mikey was going to do X, Y, and Z. Yes, I said that. I said that. But he didn't, right? So now we got to live what he did do, which was nothing. So that tells you that you can't praise the way Bully Spence because he fought a, a goddamn punching bag. You see me? So my point in the matter, the point in the matter is Spence fought a, 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 a nothing. He fought nobody Saturday night. He did he, nothing. Nobody was in the ring with him. He was by himself. You dig what I'm saying? So point blank period. Spence get no props. Only thing that I liked from Spence was the fact that he was moving his feet when Mikey jabbed. Instead of doing that herky jerky move back without moving his feet and he come back forward with his jab. Usually that's what he does when someone uses his jab. He don't pick up his two feet. He picked his two feet up Saturday night. And that was so beautiful. And, and one more thing. I'm like, oh yeah, I got, yeah. Spence also used his jab when Mikey tried to faint or counter punch. Spence turned them. Ooh, he turned them. You see what I'm saying? And to you guys that don't know boxing, that never been in the ring, who or never had a real street fight, don't understand what I just said. The little things. Turning your opponent. Turning your opponent takes your opponent off position. Using the jab, and when the jab is firing right back at you, you take two steps backwards because the way Billy Spence to move his head. So what's his alternative? His alternative used to be high guard, absorb the jab, Come forward with your punch. Now the Spencer, the Spencer is actually moving his goddamn feet on the backwards or sideways with an angle and then coming back with his jab and he threw it out there. And he threw it out there. And he threw it out there. A lot of those shots to the body that was getting blocked by Mikey. Now, to all the dudes out there that's like me that pick Mikey because of the obvious reasons, right? He's better than the way Bully Spence. But Saturday night, I think that snack program kind of messed him up because even with that loss, he looked it slow. Even with that loss, he didn't have a jab. Even with that loss, he looked it like he didn't want to waste any energy. He looked like he was trying to conserve it all. You see me? So even with that win, I'm telling you, Mikey was not Mikey. You dig? So we're not going to be too hard on Mikey. And people, look, look, I get it. We was fighting for Mikey. We wanted Mikey to win. You dig? You got this guy, the way Billy Smith's crying because George Foreman, Mike Tyson, all the great Sugar Ray didn't pick him to be Mikey. We was in his head, bro. We was all up in there, man. We even changed his style of fighting. He went to be a, tried to be a boxer. And he wasn't that good of a boxer. He was terrible in there. But, oh, Cause you dudes man don't be getting it, bro. Just because he look, just because he knocked out El Campo in the first round, don't mean anything. Look at the beginning of the fight. Just because he punished uh, Mikey Garcia for 12 rounds, meaning he was throwing many and, 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 and multiple shots at Mikey. That's punishing him. He didn't hurt Mikey, but he made Mikey fall back and, 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 and just submit and deal with what he had to deal with without uh, thinking of, hey, I can actually do this. So guys out there, that's like me that pick Mikey, don't put your head down, man. The weight bully is picking on smaller men. The weight bully's going from a guy that's 130 to trying to fight a guy that's 50 years old in Manny Pacquiao. What kind of champion is that? He's trying to build his profile on stars like Mikey Garcia and, and, and my boy Pacquiao. He know he's too big for uh, Mikey and he know he's too young for Pacquiao. And if he... Is able to get that fight with Pacquiao, it's gonna be the worst thing they ever have in the boxing. Cause now we people will say, 
Well, he beat Mikey. You know, Mikey official. Oh, he beat a legend like Pacquiao, so he must be the man. He must be the real boogie man. Now, nah, we got to fight guys in the middle. You see what I'm saying? He got to fight the Crawfords, the Keith Thurmans, the Sean Porters to get my respect. And he got to get in the ring with CBT with no headgear and eight ounce gloves and see what's really going on. You see me? Because Mikey, oh my God, Mikey, I'm so disappointed in you, man. I'm so disappointed in Mikey because Mikey had opportunities, man. He had opportunities, man. He just, I think the lights, the cameras, the action, the big stage just threw him off for a loop, man, because he didn't want to get knocked out. He didn't want to get knocked out, man. They was setting Mikey up from the beginning. But at the end of the day, two things for two things for sure. The way Bully, he did what Cal Brook did to him. He started turning. Number two, he moved his feet a little bit. Those are the two keys that I love so much about the way Bully. And I'm going to give him respect and honor for that. Because when you're able to get into fights and, and show new nuances, that tells me you're a fighter that's growing. You're a fighter that understands the criticisms and you're trying to fix them and correct them. Unlike Sloppy Wilder, he's not trying to correct anything. Last thing I would say before I get off here is that the way Bully also, he also understands how to set traps. And see, now I'm getting into the mind of the weight bully. You see what I'm saying? See, I'm not, I'm not like these other channels that's going to be just saying, oh, the weight bully won and he looked good and he looked strong. No, 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 no. I'm giving you attributes, something tangible, something that we can go on for his next fight, right? Now, the movement, the turning, and then this important thing right here, which is the setting of traps. If you guys look back at that fight, you've seen Derek James in the seats and Mikey Garcia was, I think it was the second round. That's the only time Mikey would actually try to do anything. Um, and, and Mikey, I think Mikey was shooting the jab, and he was coming forward, and he was collapsing, collapsing the pocket, right? And, and um, the way Bully Spence was on his back foot, and then Mikey went to the body, you know, bing, bing, and, and the way Bully cur curled up, right? He curled up like he was in submission on the ropes, like, oh, oh, right? But he really wasn't hurt, and he really wasn't worried. He wasn't worried at all. He wanted Mikey to close the gap, right? So he can then counter Ooh, that's why Derek was like, yeah, Mikey, get him, Mikey. That's a good move, Mikey. You dig? That's why Derek James did that because he was playing into the hands of what they was practicing. Allow Mikey to come forward. Allow Mikey to close the pocket. Allow Mikey to close the gap. And when he do so, then you explode. <laughs> and that was a beautiful thing. And I think that Mikey backed off. Uh, before Spence can go to the body because that's what exactly what he wanted to do He wanted to go to the body. So when someone's collapsed in the pocket usually defensively Irresponsible because they're getting their shots off and they feeling good about you on the ropes and submission You dig and the way Billy Spence was just setting him up for a good trap go to the body bing Oh, that would have been beautiful. You see what I'm saying? So like Ricky Hatton when he was you know throwing all those shots at Mayweather Mayweather was on the back for like, okay, he on the ropes like yeah, okay I'm blocking I'm using the shit Shelly the Philly shell you dig and then Pat he made that mistake and he overreached, you know, Ricky Hatton and Mayweather hit him with that check hook. And it was a beautiful thing. You smell me? But so we going to give the way bully that. Until we get in the ring with somebody for real. You dig what I'm saying? Check the next video, that 154. That's where he needs to be against my boy Lubin, man. We need somebody with boxing ability, a good jab, good shrimp, good heart. And somebody that's going to come in the ring and push the way bully back, man. We're not letting up on that cocksucker. I'll let your boy. Peace.